this video, I will be talking about what is library information science, what libraries and librarians do, and how to become a librarian in the Philippines. In my last video, I talked about job hunting and interview tips, but I realized that here in the Philippines, librarianship is not a very popular profession. So I will try to explain in the most simplest terms what is library information science and what librarians do. So this is for people who might be curious about what is LIS, for those who might want a change in career, and maybe you are curious on how to become a librarian. Before I start, you might be wondering why I'm speaking in English. I can speak in Tagalog, but since I'm from Iloilo City, I might sound like this. Paano mo nasabi na ilonggo ko? Kita mo Tagalog yung salita ko? Another reason is the closed captions because if I speak in English, YouTube is gonna read it better. And it will generate more accurate captions compared when I speak in Ilonggo or in Tagalog. So maybe in the future, I might try to speak in Tagalog because more Filipinos probably will listen to that. But for now, since I'm trying to practice my speaking, that's why I'm speaking in English. Librarianship is one of the most in-demand professions in the Philippines right now. In fact, Library and Information Science is one of the priority courses of GED. But there are still so many stereotypes and misconceptions about the library. So when you hear the word library or librarian, you might think of someone who doesn't work or a place that's so outdated. And many people say that do we still need libraries and librarians because of the internet? But the modern library is very different from the traditional view of what a library is. And now librarians have a lot of opportunity in the academe, in business, in organizations, and there are skills that you will learn that is applicable in many fields. Librarianship is a profession in the Philippines and you need to pass a board examination in order to practice it. To be a librarian here in the Philippines, you either have to take a bachelor's degree or a master's degree in LIS. And most people who are lateral entry or didn't have library science as their degree in the undergraduate can opt to take the master's degree. So if you have the educational qualification, you can now take the board exam which you need to pass in order to practice the profession. But first, what is Library and Information Science? So as defined by the online dictionary of Library and Information Science, librarianship is a profession devoted to applying theory and technology to the creation, selection, organization, management, preservation, dissemination, and utilization of collections of information in all formats quite a lot of words. So library science is the study of meeting the needs of specific users. So this is usually taught in library schools. <laughs> to make it more simple, I will give you some examples of the four kinds of libraries to give you an idea of what libraries and librarians do. So the first is the academic library. As the name implies, this is a library attached to a higher education institution, which is usually a college or university. The academic library focuses more on supporting the information needs of the students and faculty. For example, where I work in Henry Luce III Library in Central Philippine University, we have services and resources from kindergarten to the postgraduate degrees. There are a lot of aspects to our work, like, for example, there are librarians assigned for each college, but we also have our own tasks here in the library. For example, my work is for the institutional repository and also for the social media and promotion of the library. The librarians have a variety of tasks, like, for example, circulation is more for the borrowing of books. There's selection and acquisition for selecting books, budgeting, and there's also cataloging and classification for the organization of books. And next example is the public library. So these are usually the barangay reading centers, the city libraries, the municipal and provincial libraries. Public libraries in the Philippines are usually under the National Library of the Philippines. Examples would be the Iloilo Provincial Library in the capital and the Iloilo City Library in the City Hall. So the purpose of the, of the public library is more to serve the public and their needs. Like, for example, the City Library right now is offering module printing for parents and kids. And next is the Special or Research Library. This library caters to a specific organization or, or a specific group of people. 
Like, for example, here in the Philippines, there's the Supreme Court Library in Manila, which tries to support the information needs of the Supreme Court and its employees. And they are also pioneers in library technology, such as the Supreme Court e-library. Another one is the Filipinas Heritage Library. So this is not a public library, but is run by a private organization. So they focus more on Philippine history and culture. And the last one is the school library. So this library is usually for kindergarten, elementary school, and high schools. Their services might be different from an academic library. If an academic library is more for study and research, school libraries might focus more on activities for kids like information literacy and storytelling. You might be wondering what librarians actually study for. So we study a variety of subjects, but I will give you the six main subjects in the board exam because I think this explains what we do. So first is management. The library is just like any other organization and management is one of the major subjects that we study for. Next is reference and information services. Maybe in future videos, I will be explaining this more, but I will just give an overview. So reference and information services is more about customer services, how to understand users' needs, and how to answer and comply with their queries. Next is cataloging and classification. This is more on organizing books, and you might be familiar with the Dewey Decimal System or the Library of Congress classification system. So even before Google, librarians have devised a way on how to organize this information. So since the classification system have their own rules, this is actually something that we study about. Another one is selection and acquisition. So this is more for budgeting, selecting books for the library. And of course, we also study information technology. The NIS is actually under the College of Computer Studies and the new curriculum right now includes some programming subjects for the students. There are a lot more aspects to library science, but these are just the six subjects that I think describes it well. For example, I'm also teaching multiculturalism and indigenous knowledge, which is more on diversity and serving various clients in different settings. We also study about archives, records management, preservation, serving the community, and customer service. So I think if you're interested in being a librarian, there is something for you. If you lean more on scholarly work or academic research, maybe you will find your place in a academic or research library. If you like working with children, maybe you want to work in a school library. There's a lot of aspects to librarianship, and if you're interested in something, I'm sure that you can apply it in a library setting. So you're interested in studying library and information science. Here in the Philippines, there is a law, RA 9246, that mandates the profession of librarianship. So according to this law, you either have to take a bachelor's or master's degree in library and information science before you can take the board exam. So taking the board exam qualifies you to become a licensed librarian to practice the profession. Yes, you can still work in a library even if you don't have a license, but having a license actually opens more opportunities for you and if you have a master's degree, even better because you can apply for higher positions and there are higher salaries for the academic libraries or other organizations. But for those who are interested, I highly encourage you to take that board exam and take the related course because there are a few librarians in the Philippines and many organizations are looking for librarians right now. And what's good about the library profession here in the Philippines is some professions if you don't pass the board exam for a number of times, you can't take it again. But for libraries in the Philippines, you can take the exam an unlimited number of times. But of course, it's good if you already pass it the first time you take it. Usually, part of the LIS curriculum is a semester or some time to have some experience in the library because this is also important. Library science is not just all theory, but also teaches practical experience in the library. It's also good to get some library experience in internships, in OJTs, or just volunteering in a library. If you're interested in studying library information science in the Philippines, I will put more information about my school, Central Philippine University, below and more details on who to contact and how to enroll. So that's it for this video. If there are more topics that you want me to talk about, 
regarding Philippine librarianship or libraries, you can comment down below. And for new updates about libraries and librarians, you can subscribe to this channel. So thank you for watching. Thank you.